Let us suppose your friend wants to start a business. He comes to you and asks for a sum of rupees thousand, which he promises to return after three years. Now, your friend is very ambitious and hardworking, but you are not sure if his business idea is good enough, and if he'll in fact be able to return your money after three years. You figure out that there is a risk in giving him the money; it may never come back. But how do you quantify this risk? Sensing your concerns, your friend suggests that. In addition to returning a total loan amount of rupees thousand after three years, he will also make annual payments, known as coupons, of rupees fifty to you at the end of each year. Now, would you agree to lend him the money after this proposal? Sounds like a good deal, but how do you decide if this in fact is a good deal? Simple, you ask these questions to a credit risk analyst. Credit risk analyst is a broad term. and the work that one does in this profile depends on whether one works in an investment bank or a credit card company for the purpose of this video we will look at three different domains where you may find employees working with this title first let's look at an investment bank most of the credit risk analysts in an investment bank work at the back end of traders which means the analyst assess the credit worthiness of the counterparty of their trades and suggest if the amount of exposure against this counterparty is okay or not now the question comes what is a counterparty counterparty is the opposite party in any transaction it can be anything ranging from an individual to another investment bank let's consider an example of a trade between two giants jp morgan chase and goldman sachs banks such as these usually trade in complex products with difficult to predict payoffs so when a trade is executed analysts sitting in let's say jpmc office would assess the net exposure against goldman sachs using their own models and try to determine whether goldman sachs will in fact be able to oblige to its commitments in future or not the analysts calculate risk in monetary terms and submit these numbers to external auditors such as fema pra or ihc to meet regulation standards they also submit these numbers to internal teams in order to keep a real time check on the exposure against a particular counterparty companies that hire in this profile include investment banks such as credit suisse jp morgan barclays etc most of the profiles in india are based in pune mumbai and bangalore Credit card companies also employ analysts, usually with the title Credit and Fraud Risk Analyst. These analysts look at the transactions and payment history of the credit card customers and assign them into buckets. Customers with low credit worthiness are flagged and sent to the team directly interacting with the card holders. These analysts also try to predict the number of defaults, which means the missed payments given in a certain amount of time, and then compare these results. with the actual number of defaults to check the accuracy of their models firms that hire people as a credit risk and fraud analyst include credit card companies such as amex visa and mastercard most of the profiles in india are based out of mumbai and gurugram credit risk analysts may also work in the lending and credit teams of commercial banks they are setting the credit worthiness of new loan applicants both individuals and businesses They usually analyze the job histories, financial statements, payment histories, etc., etc., and suggest if loans should be actually approved or not. Firms that hire as a credit risk analyst for this sort of profile include commercial banks such as ICICI, HDFC, and SBI. Recruiters for credit risk analyst hire candidates from various educational backgrounds, ranging from MBA, BTech, CA. to be calm etc if you'd like to improve your eligibility for this profile we would suggest you to get familiar with data analytical tools such as sql r and python the candidates with strong mathematical skills have an advantage since a considerable amount of work involves dealing with statistics and calculating measures such as probability of default loss given default etc recruiters generally don't expect you to have an inside out knowledge of derivative products 
but a basic understanding of finance and risk is necessary to get into such roles. Candidates with some progression in finance related certifications, especially FRM, are preferred. The best way to apply for any profile is through a referral or a job portal. You can visit our website to look at various job openings across different firms for credit risk analysts. Investment banks in particular hire engineers, CA and MBA students directly from campuses as well. Early exposure to statistical tools and models used by credit risk analysts can create an excellent base for the so-called quant heavy roles. A lot of credit risk analysts, especially the ones in investment banks, prefer to get into higher financial engineering courses typically 2 to 3 years after joining in this profile. Although preferences may depend on individuals as well. To summarize, credit risk analyst profile is considered to be a decent point of entry in banks for financial institutions. We'd wish you all the best if you choose this career path. Would you like to know more about credit risk analysts? Do you agree with that description? Which other profile would you like to know about? Please let us know in the comment section. For more information, please visit our website. The link is provided in the description below. Thanks.